So with Synthase, DOE really couldn't be easier. First, a scientist can plan out their experiment using the Synthase Workflow Builder Canvas. Uh, they can effectively map out their experiment, uh, which will create uh, instructions for a robot in the lab or, or for you to follow manually. So I've taken this simple example where I'm designing a DOE experiment to optimize my mammalian cell growth media. So first, I define my, my stock liquids that I'm going to make my media from. Uh, and to do this, I'm using this brilliant little element called auto-generate stock solutions. Uh, by defining my stocks in here first, Synthase will automatically tell me the ideal stock solution to prepare in my lab for this experiment that will satisfy uh, my final uh, desired concentrations, all whilst preventing my liquid handler from having to prepare minute volumes, which might be quite inaccurate. Um, I'm also defining sterile water in here, which I'll be using as a diluent. Then I'm connecting these liquids to a make mixtures element, which will make mixtures from my stock solutions and my diluent. And all I have to do is add some extra info, which will tell the element uh, how much volume I want to make, and then tell, uh, tell it that sterile water is my diluent and uh, the plate that I want to make the mixtures onto. But this is where it gets neat. I can then toggle into DOE mode. And this highlights all the stages in which I can apply a DOE design in my experiment. In this case, I'm going to add the DOE design to my mixtures and specifically my mixture components. Um, from here, all I've got to do is enter the components that I'd like to add as factors to my DOE design um, and then the specific concentrations or volume levels of each. So once I'm happy with that, uh, I can hit calculate design. So Synthase will then present uh, to you three DOE designs to choose from. And Synthase will generate those designs using the information you've provided. Um, so here I'm choosing a space filling design and I'm shown the statistical power of my design. Uh, and this, this sort of indicates that the probability uh, really that the, the design will collect enough data uh, to confidently identify real active effects. Irrespective of your prior DOE knowledge, you're presented with three design options and you're told how powerful those DOE designs are. So you're not just giving DOE a go, you're able to create powerful experimental designs. Now, of course, if you are a DOE expert uh, or just prefer to use your own software to generate the design, you can upload uh, that in a CSV file format using the Upload Design button. So once you've chosen your design or uploaded it, you can then simulate your experiment from the comfort of your own home or from your office or, uh, I don't know, the Elizabeth line, wherever you want, and preview exactly how your robot in your lab is going to ex execute your experiment. So here I'm, I'm checking the, the, the deck setup, uh, the DOE design, and then I'm previewing exactly how that experiment will run in my lab. And then with a couple more clicks, I'm sending that simulation to the lab. And then all you've got to do is set up your robot and press run. Once that experiment's finished, um, you can then upload the data, or uh, depending on your experiment uh, or your equipment rather, have that data automatically uploaded, not just to Synthase, but to the experiment you've been working on. Uh, and it's worth mentioning at this point, um, uh, with Synthase you're able to align data from multiple file formats and multiple executions. Um, from here I'm click, uh, clicking Structured Data, and that will transport me to a Response Analysis. So in this Response Analysis tab, I can immediately eyeball my data. And then I can jump on uh, uh, into some in-depth analysis. You can create models here, you can explore them, go on a little adventure with your data, and then generate really powerful insights in the same software that you started your journey. And when you're happy with your models, you can save that analysis to a read-only state, copy that link, 
and share it with your colleagues. They can then have a look and, and, and marvel at your beautiful findings. Um, but jokes aside, what you've effectively done there is packaged your entire experiment into one software from design right through to analysis. And you've been able to take that experiment and send that to your colleague. Just think about that from, from the standpoint of transparency and reproducibility and efficiency. Your method, your data, your findings, and your analysis, it's all there in one link. So now you've seen the product, let me summarize. So those brains at Synthase have, have, have created two things. The first is accessible DOE. So without having that prior knowledge of DOE, you can generate a design and immediately understand how powerful that design is. You didn't need a stats background. You didn't need to use multiple different apps. And the second thing that, that Synthase has, has created is really a complete uproot of how we do experiments. Uh, and the absolute buzzwords here is end-to-end. -end. Synthase has allowed you to plan, design, simulate, execute, and analyze in one app. Not a spreadsheet, not in a stats program, graphing software, liquid handler software, plate reader software, one app, Synthase.